Hi there, I'm Matt. And I just want to spend the next couple of minutes talking to you about Agile, which is a new approach to how we deliver change in Kuro. So in the current model, we use what's called a waterfall methodology, which means when the business has an idea, they would work with the project to develop requirements and set out exactly what it is we're trying to achieve. We then go into a design phase where we start thinking about what could the solution look like, how could it work, and that then gets handed on to IT, who actually develop and build the solution. That then gets tested by the business, and once we've worked through any issues, it's actually implemented and released into live. Now, the limitation with this approach is all of the value, all of the business benefits, is stored up right until the very end. And getting from this point to this point can often take 6, 12, 18 months. And invariably, the world we find ourselves in here is often very different to where we started. Business priorities have changed, customer needs have changed. And so when we get to this point, sometimes what's delivered is not always fit for purpose. So we've been thinking about, you know, what can we do with this? What's a different way of doing it, which means we'll be able to deliver better outcomes for the business and for our customers. And that's where Agile comes in. One of the key things with the Agile approach is you take all these people that are involved in the process and you put them together in the Agile delivery team. Now that doesn't mean a change to line structure or anything about that. It's just a, it's just a virtual team where you've got the right people working together and you've got the business right at the heart of the change that we're delivering. And instead of saving the value up until the end, in Agile, you deliver in small incremental chunks, meaning that you get a flow of benefits, a flow of value right the way through the project rather than it being stored up, as I say, until the end. The other key thing is at these points, you get the chance to check and just pause and adapt and make sure what you're delivering is still in line with the vision. And so any, any issues, any changes, you can adapt course before you moved on, on to the next phase. So to summarize, you've got the business at the heart of the change, you've got better collaboration, you've got better communication, and you've got this constant flow of value being delivered to the customers. But that's just the start. There's loads of tools and techniques in Agile that can be applied both to the projects and also to everyday um, business, uh, business operations. And we're gonna be talking to you more about that over the next couple of weeks. So look out for some more videos coming soon.